morning everyone so <clears throat> i know it's a bit loud but i am on campus so excuse like the background noise um i am gonna be speaking through the earphone mic okay but i was really excited to show you guys this new oracle deck um this one is by rebecca campbell called work your light oracle and the, art, the artwork is just stunning it's by danielle noel me and my friends are like look at the cards <laughs> like it's really I find it's like really high vibing and very galactic and otherworldly, so I really like that. They also recently released the newest one, the 53 card deck. This one is 44 cards, but the 53 card deck, the new one is called Starseed Oracle, which I am dying to see the flip through of it and seeing um, if it's worth the price. So this is what the box looks like. It does have notches on the side, so you can easily pull it out. Same guidebook here. Whoa, and you'll see that um, it tells you like how to ask if you're not familiar with using Oracle decks and how to open your sacred soul space, stuff like that. Very, I know it's very woo but it's really cool, I, I think, and different spreads as well. So they have the three card spread. They, I tried this yesterday. This is the cosmic spread. So they have different spreads for different things. Decision maker spread, um, soul calling with the two cards. So you could do anything with these oracle decks. And it has the picture with the description, and then it tells you a bit about the meaning. And then sometimes it will have uh, either a question inquiry or an action recommended or this one is one of my favorites is the activation portion which are phrases that you say to yourself it's kind of like activating your soul in a way which i find is really interesting nice little handbook i like the gold detailing of this it feels so soft it's just like the cards it has a 400 gsm i think <clears throat> and inside is like you are the oracle which i think is really motivational and it looks like this at the back and oh my god the cardstock is just really soft this is the backing it's very feminine so some of the guy guys and the ones who like more masculine and neutral things may not like this deck because it is very feminine it has roses and turquoise and like galaxy and like geometric shapes but it is so beautiful and it shuffles like a dream as well i usually shy shuffle with these like that They're very easy to shuffle really thick card stock as well and i'll just show you the cards now so i'll, I'll skip to that it's about 310 so that you guys don't have to hear me babble i did shuffle it so it's not in order we have here break the chains so it does have like a photoshop feel and but i just love how so soft this mat is really like luxurious inner temple just the artwork itself there's some like there's like some temples here and i see some symbolism of like there's a lot of galaxy in the background as well um divine feminine is really like highlighted here so this is sisterhood of the rose there's some kind of images like they play around with the sepia tones and like here's like a Kuan Yin I think it's like one of those there's different um like ancient uh, spirituality images that's incorporated here there's a lot of ancient Egypt in here as well you can see with the wings and it's very subtle which is why I really want to get the moon child tarot because oh my goodness that's the only one I'll probably ever use but it's so expensive this is priestess this is i got this when i first cracked it open in a bookstore and i just think it's so dreamy it's really good i think to meditate with as well mirror crumbling this reminds me of the tower in tarot as well Council of Light. <laughs> it's really galactic as well with these. It looks like chakras and stars and different figures of 
spirituality. It's like this one looks like Santa Muerte. This is like Buddha or Kuan Yin and my mother Mary and Jesus. Like they have different kinds. The ever unfolding rose. Star seed deck. This is a, this one. I'm so excited for the star seed oracle. This is one of the star seed families, um, the Eighties. So pretty. Answer the call. Align your life. So it is very photoshopped, but it's really beautiful. You're already doing it. I feel like this is a deck that you'll either like or you hate. So you'll either love it or not. Share your voice. I just think it's so gorgeous. Warrior woman. Oh, I like the I love this card. Star seed. Leaf. Star mother. It's like Mother Mary. Oh my gosh, it's just so soft. I keep touching these cards. Get grounded. I get this a lot, especially because I do a lot of readings too, so my head is up there and I, I do need to ground myself a bit. Unbound. It's like little, little artworks in each page. Pillar of light. Akasha. So this is like in reference to Akasha Records, I think. Soul family. Whales and dolphins remind me of Lemuria and the the constellation like like the Sirius uh, for the galactic family. Anna, grandmother of Jesus. Some people might not like this card because of the reference to Christianity, but you know I think spiritualism, like spirituality, kind of transcends just a specific religion. Yes. Birthing a new age. Look at the artwork. It's just so otherworldly. I love it. Protection. Deep replenishment. Trust the niggle. I don't know what niggle means, but probably is referring to intuition or like your gut feeling, your instinct. Boundaries. Don't dim to fit in. I like how it has like a third, uh, third eye chakra here. Third eye. Or the evil eye there. The great gathering. Second bunch of ghosts. Keepers of the earth. Age of light. This just reminds me of Isis or like um, Bastet. Like, this is like ancient Egyptian goddesses, which I'm very drawn to, especially this one. And this might be Bastet because she's the goddess of cats <laughs> in ancient Egypt. I'm, I'm very drawn to that as well, Lemuria in Egypt. So it's just so glamorous. Dance with life. No. <laughs> and, like really stormy. Uh, Imrama. Imrama? Take a break. So some are action cards, some are, some are activation cards, and some are like um, yes or no type things. Play. This is an action card. Oh, Lemuria. I wish they have a deck based solely on Lemuria. Very fascinating with that. The initiation. Awakening. So true. Like I was looking up high vibrational decks and this is definitely one of them and I kept putting this back in the bookstore so I waited till I got some some side income to get it. Mintaka. Mintaka? 
reminds me a lot of like Pleiades as well. Trust your path. So I hope you like that. It's, this is just really quick because I am in college at this time and it's really noisy. But this is the backing of it. If you could just feel how soft this is, super soft. Like this is definitely thicker than your average oracle deck and. It has the same feel as the Spirit Animal Oracle deck from Call It Baron Reed. So, if you love like the Divine Feminine, Ancient Civilizations, and like this whole eclectic modern like Photoshop kind of editing, and the feel is just so. For me, I really like it. It's very elegant, and uh, then yeah, now you know what the art looks like. Okay guys, I will pull up, maybe let's do like, uh, or maybe a reading or message for you guys today. Oh, and I cannot shuffle today. <laughs> um, so what is indicated by the skybook? You can either wait till the fall card falls out or <clears throat> you can divide it into three piles here like this and then get them again and then you can either spread it like this and choose which is a little harder for me like I prefer to just let what falls fall and oh this one looks, seems to like wants to fall out like it shuffles really nicely Oh, it's so nice to touch. Okay. Oh, this is the card that I first got when I cracked this open in the bookstore. So, this is Priestess. It is saying, how, how are you being called to step up and lead? So, <clears throat> I haven't actually read the meaning in the, in the guidebook. But for me, this does remind me of High Priestess in Tarot. So, this is listening to your... Um, intuition about something whether a question about yourself or other people in your life is really looking within um, for the answers so not turning to other people for the answers but yourself you know yourself um, your higher self knows what's best and what to do maybe perhaps you're just maybe delaying the choice or you choose not to listen to it so that's what I'm getting with this card and we'll see what the guide looks says. It is a little bit hard to to find the cards at first because you either have to rifle through or look at it through the um, the glossary here because it's not there's no suit this triangle symbol is in all of the cards so it's kind of hard to differentiate like which card is what so I end up having to rifle through it. <laughs> I mean, they have categories as well, like activations, actions, um, like messages. Yeah, there's different calls to things. Okay, so priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? So I just got this yesterday, so I'll read what it says. The priestess is a teacher dedicated to service, freedom, and leadership. You don't have to have it all together to lead. In fact, it helps if you don't. No one wants a perfect angel who hasn't made any mistakes. Let your life be your message. Don't underestimate the power of sharing your story. It's by hearing someone else's journey that we feel less alone. We realize that we're actually all in this thing called life together. The difference between a follower and a leader is that a leader has the courage to go first. In stepping out, they shine a light on the path for others to venture forward to. Don't fret too much about trying to work out who is your tribe, so like your soul tribe. Don't get stuck in age, income, hobbies, or occupation. The best way to discover your tribe is to look in the mirror. <laughs> If you feel called to lead, chances are it is because at some point in your life you long for someone to lead you. Your tribe are longing for exactly the same thing as you were and are. They might only be step one step behind you. Hell, they may even be right alongside you. You don't need anyone's permission, just the courage to stand up. Embrace your struggles, the peaks, the troughs. You don't need to know the way. 
Just believe that there might be a different one. Your tribe is waiting for you. Step forward so they can find you. How are you being called to step up and lead? How can you be the leader you wish you had? So, yeah, for me, this is just having, like, the courage to to do the right thing for yourself. And to it's okay to go at something alone. There are just some things that... And to not be afraid if there are people who really love to... Like the, they call people call it soul tribe or whatever, but it's like you know there are certain people put in their path that help us grow and they help us succeed and really um, get in touch with our calling and our inner self. So that's really important. So if there are people that are very good vibing and they make you feel very peaceful and, and happy and content, then there's those, there's gonna be people in your life put there for a reason and. Even if you feel like you're alone, you're not. Because technically, if you believe in the spiritual stuff, you know your spirit guides are always with you all the time. And you know, if you feel believe in angelic beings and you know things from the higher realms, they're definitely around. It's just that they don't step up, or they ask us to call upon them if they want us to, if they, if we want them to step in. And um, usually, it's a free will as well. They let us choose what we want to do. So. We're never totally alone and to trust your instinct and intuition is the main message I'm getting from this. And to step up with something regarding your life, uh, whatever course that is, job, um, life path, um, family matters, uh, relationships, stuff like that. So yes guys, and you see there's, I also focusing on this light here, it's near her solar plexus maybe or heart chakra solar plexus so some of you guys who are struggling with confidence in yourself to believe your worth and if you can see like there's these like golden wings out here it's just kind of like you can fly but you just don't realize your potential type thing so that's what i'm getting with this card hopefully that helps you out today and enjoy the dreaminess of these cards i know i love these cards a lot um and stay tuned for more okay bye